Today in Chalk Talk, a textbook for every student, one that has the most up-to-date content, and get this, this program saves millions of dollars annually. Now, this might sound like a pipe dream, but one school district trustee has convinced his district that this can be a reality simply by going digital. Toronto District School Board trustee Michael Coteau joins me live from Toronto, my hometown. Michael, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, thanks for having me here. I want to show our viewers this number that I've got on my wall. $50 million over 10 years is what you say this program that you want to implement can save. Now, I need to understand this because you want to replace regular books with uh, some sort of digital content and all the technology and, and content that that creates. How does that translate into that kind of saving? Well, I think it's more about the digital content than the actual digital books. See, if we can take information, organize it in an intelligent, accessible way, then it doesn't matter if you're on your, if you're on your cell phone, an, an iPad, uh, on a computer at home. As long as you can access that information, that's the most important piece. Now, we're spending, as a board, uh, I would say a conservative number would be $8 million. Um, Centrally, we could be spending anywhere up to $12, $15 million uh, on textbooks. We replace those books every three years. Wow. Um, the ones we don't replace get stuck in the system and they become old. For example, uh, in one of the papers yesterday, it was reporting that the U.S. history book uh, still has Clinton as your president of the United States. So I think we can do a lot better. We take the information digitalize it and have young people access it and if we can do that with even 20 30 percent of our books currently we can save over a 10-year period millions of dollars and let if we did it provincially yep. it would even be bigger than that let me give a sense to my, my US audience about what we're talking about the Toronto District School Board uh, how many public school students are you talking about we have almost 250,000 students, almost 600, 600 schools in our system. So we're, I believe, the third largest school board in North America. So if we can do it and lead the way, I think not only can we create content for Toronto students, but for the entire province, and we can share that information. Okay, how do you deal with the, the rapidly evolving technology? I mean, what, what, is this agnostic to the type of device the student would use, or are you going to have to equip no, students with, think... uh, with different things? I think that's the confusion, right? It, I don't think the technology, the actual device matters at this point. I think what matters is how do you gather that information, own the digital rights, and provide it in an accessible way so young people can collect it. It has to be in a safe environment. It has to be flexible enough to, uh, uh, to be updated uh, at a rapid pace. And um, it has to be kept in a, uh, you know, a place where it's accessible. And I think we have the ability to do that. We need to catch up to students because students are way ahead of us on this. All right, here in the United States, you know, a lot of the, the textbooks, the printed textbooks, the content is determined by some of the biggest school districts in the country, in Texas or in, in California. Uh, should we be, you, you're talking about generating your own content. I mean, is that necessary if these are math books or U.S. history books uh, or, or, you know, different, different subjects that are universal? Uh, are you talking about Not generating necessary. specific content? Well, what we can do is I've asked, I've asked our senior staff at the board to do two things, to look at ways in which we could create our own content, but also look at some external content. When we, when we buy millions of dollars of books, and that's in the city of Toronto, imagine the province of Ontario, if we're spending ten, you know, $15 million in Toronto, um, that, and we represent 10% of the student body, you know, that's $100, $150 million a year on textbooks. So I think that we can take our teachers, we can, you know, because they're doing the writing for these, uh, these companies now, we could uh, work with them, we can work with the book companies. I'm not talking about cutting them off, I'm talking about owning some of that digital information, owning those rights so we can make it accessible. So I think it has to be a collection of many different uh, forms of information coming in from different places. Who knows? We could be down in the North Carolina borrowing their math curriculum and right. uh, as long as we can own the digital rights. All right. Interesting uh, way of looking at it. Michael, thank you very much for, uh, for being with us. Give my uh, regards to Toronto. Michael Coto is the Toronto District School Board trustee uh, live from uh, Toronto.